about set to kick off. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Caught with room to work. And down he goes, around the 26-yard line. That's a genius Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. He got seven, but it looked like for a second he could have broken it for even more. Good call. Packer at about the 47-yard line. What a play. Boy, a solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. Darts it to the right. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Makes the catch and look out. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. just no way anybody could catch up with that pass from the 32 yard line it's second down he's under pressure he's looking for six here's the eighth play of the series Played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Fourth and long here after the sack. And they're coming after this punter. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Here's the give. He's into the open field. Nice run there. his way out to about the 35. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 35. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. Six-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Second and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line.
receiver dropped it incomplete. Got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down right around the 40. That screen gets around six. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. He sails it long. Picked off. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. They come out in a five-wide set. Got a man. Watch out here. Tackle made at about the 41. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Here's a run. Decent run here, right side. Well, a man down, and the trainer's on their way out to have a look. From the 48-yard line, first down. He's in trouble. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. Somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. Fires it out. And he's taken down at the 35. Strike to the receiver. Brought down at about the 23-yard line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Now I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. Takes a hand off, tackled for a loss. Tenth play of the drive. The Cougars wide receiver had to leave the game earlier with that injury. And the word we're getting now, unlikely to see any further action in this one. Zips it to the back. They'll knock him down for a loss. Fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Houston could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away. And he just drilled it from long range. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. Three nothing. Houston. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right, everywhere we go and we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's tackled at about the 35. Nice 
run, and he's brought down. He's at midfield. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. up front, not allowing the runner to have much room to work with. And at the end, they're able to wrap him up. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 33. We've got a close game. The Cougars with a three-point lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Maryland is looking to tie things up. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's good! The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Steps out of bounds around the 28-yard line. Not that impressive of a play. Let's see if they continue to employ the short passing game or if they decide to run the ball. He's to the 40. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. play call. It was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. The offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five wide set and the defense counters with their dime look. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down around the 37 yard line. First down. the 27 yard line. Fired quickly and he's got his man. Tackle at the 14 yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 14. Third and 11. Ball on the 16 yard line. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Fourth and six. 
Houston is looking to go up by three. It's up, and the field goal is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Gathered in at the six. He's taken down at the 32. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Big play, and it's first and goal. These receivers need to be ready because he's capable of really launching some passes. That one was just out of reach. This is the ninth play of this drive. Open receiver drops. It's third and goal, and they're about four yards out. Maryland is down three and looking to tie it up. Kicks up, and he's got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he's taken down at the 33. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. He's got it with room to run. He's 
steps out around the 47 yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. From the 47 yard line, first down. The cavalry's coming. That makes it first and ten. Fires quick. He's got another one. And he's hit immediately. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Makes it to the 11. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. converts the extra point. A six-play, 76-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback in the receiver. From his own goal line, tackle made at the 28. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says, finish, finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Caught inside the 30. Brought down at about the 13. Maryland's going to use their first time out of the half here. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. Tackles him hard at the four. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. The Terrapins use their second timeout. He's tackling at the four-yard line. You know, he was looking and looking, and he finally said to himself, you know what, I'll just take this thing myself. Nice decision-making. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he hits the PAT. So a fourth play, 71-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense looking more and more explosive. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. From their own 26 yard line, it's second down. series for the defense and they get them out after three plays that offense has to regroup and come up with a plan to move the ball down the field next time he 
He's tackled at the 40-yard line. I'm sure that touchdown on their last possession has given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. Spikes the ball. That makes it second and ten. From the 26-yard line, second down. Open field, and they make the stop around the 20-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. That makes it fourth and four. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. Maryland could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Great first half comes to a close. The Terrapins with a three-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half. And boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think is on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Maryland is up a field goal. Got a man in and out of his hands. Second and ten. Ball on their own 25. to the 40. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. He's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. Hawks is out to the tailback on the screen. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. He's at the 20. Makes it to the 14. We 
They've got a first and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. Maryland has a three-point lead. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And he's immediately tackled. Tacks on the extra point. The Terrapins running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot for this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Caught with room to work. And down he goes at the 34. That brings up second and one. five-yard line. It's second down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they push him out at the 46-yard line. Inside the 40. Caught over the middle. And he's tackled at the 45. Pick up of about seven that time on the screen play. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Makes the catch and look out. He's pushed out of bounds at the 29. That brings up second and one. it out to the wide alley. He's got the first. They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. Throwing left. From their own 34-yard line. Second down. Second down. 
Tackle made around the 32-yard line. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Fires quickly, and he's got his man, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. That brings up second and nine. After a decent run up the gut. That's a game seven. First down. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Fires it out. And he's taken down right around the 30. First down. point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Maryland holds a field goal lead. And he's tackled right away. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. Maryland's got a three-point lead. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. yard line. Second down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That makes it third and one. He zips it out to the left, in and out of his hand. Number six is the intended receiver on the play. That brings us to the level. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Fires 
complete over the middle. Down at about the 49. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 49. Complete. He's got room. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 36-yard line. Get the call. False start. False start. Offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they can just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. Tackle at the 27-yard line. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Slings it. And they make the stop around the 33-yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. From the 41-yard line, second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds around the 35-yard line. And they'll get him in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. It has the distance. No good. He missed it to the right.
you know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. On the ground, right side. Makes it out to about the 49. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. First and 10, ball in the 49. Complete and taken down immediately. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Looks to his receiver, first down. And down he goes at about the 29-yard line. He's got 100 yards in the game now. you got to love this quarterback-receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. From the 29-yard line, it's second down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Tries to get around the corner. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. So it's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Kick is up. It's got the distance. Not a lot of success on that kick. It's hard for a kicker to stay loose on the sidelines. He isn't running around like these offensive and defensive players. And in conditions like this, the stationary bike can only do so much to get your body to heat up. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. And he snags that one. And he's tackled in the open field. Stops the clock with a spike. That'll bring up third and inches. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you could force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. Gets it out quickly. Tackle at the 49. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Ball start. Offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Wants to go long and uh, incomplete. Almost picked off. So this one goes final. A hard-fought, close game. 27-23, Cougars.
For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.